Welcome to the lesson 6 of the Corporate Explainer animation course and in this lesson I'm going to share with you how to animate this plants waving animation using puppet pins and Dwig Angela. And you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we will be using throughout this course from our website that is linked in the description and also in the pinned comment section. And before moving forward do hit the like button and comment down below. That will help this video reach out to newer audience and that is also one way you can support this channel. So without any further delay let's dive right into Adobe After Effects. So if you have downloaded the open file from our website, you will also get an After Effects work file. If you open that file, here in the project panel, this is the folder structure you will see. Now inside the frames folder, we will open frame number 1. Inside this, plant. Now let's start with the plant animation. So first, let's pre-comp all the leaves of the plant together and use this matte layer as an alpha mat. Let's get inside the composition. Let's start with any of the leaf. So let's pre comp it first. Let's get inside the composition. Let's go to composition settings and give some breathing space for this illustration. Now let's select this. Select puppet pane and now we will add one puppet pane over here. One here. One here. Here. Here and here. Now let's select the puppet property, go to Dwig Angular, links and constraints, then click on add pins. This will create separate pin layers for each of the puppet pins that you have added for this on this illustration. Now let's rename these layers so that we don't get confused later on. Now let's parent 6 with 5, 5 with 4, 4 with 3, 3 with 2 and 2 with 1 in this direction. Now let's open the rotation property of the pin layer 2 by pressing R. Add a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch, then jump on to next 20 frames. Let's rotate it a little bit in the opposite direction. We can add some rotation of around 6 degree. And on the previous keyframe, let's give around minus 2. From here, let's jump on to next 20 frame and copy and paste the initial keyframe. Easy as it. Now we might have to slow down this animation, so we are going to uh, adjust the timing later on. First, we will add a script for loop animation. So press and hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch. So type in loop in plus loop out minus the value. And first, start with just slowing down the entire animation by a few frames. So you have to just uh, select all the keyframes and press and hold the Alt key and click outward. That's it. Now let's check the animation. I think we can slow it down a little bit even more. This one looks good to me. So let's copy these keyframes. Then select next three pin layers. And I'm going, I'm not going to select the last pin layer and just paste the rotation property keyframe by pressing Ctrl plus V. Press U to open the properties with keyframe and just offset the keyframes by a few frames to add some follow through. Now you can see just by few keyframes and an expression we have created this entire waving animation. Now let's do the same for the other leaves. So let's select this leaf. I think uh, the shapes are pretty much the same so we can simply duplicate it and let's solo this layer and just use this leaf for this one. So first we have to flip it horizontally, scale it down and just rotate it a little bit. And then go to FX and presets panel and type in hue and apply hue saturation. Then increase the lightness value and a little bit of saturation. Color looks pretty much the same. So we can delete this illustration layer. So we just got another different copy of the leaf just using few effects and just offset the leaf layer so that uh, everything doesn't animate together. Yeah, this one looks good. 
Okay, now let's select this leaf and let's precomp it. Let's get inside the precomp. Let's give some breathing space for this precomp. All right, so let's add a puppet pin layer over here. One here, one here, here, and here, and one here. So I will select the puppet property once more, then go to links and constraints, click on add pins. This will create the pin layers, then rename the pin layers and parent it in a chain like this. Then select the pin layer number two and then go to the previous leaf animation. I'm simply going to copy this keyframes from here and paste it over here. For all these pin layers, I'm just excluding the first and the last pin layer. Now let's select these pin layers and press U to open the properties with keyframes and just offset these layers. That's it. And here we have a similar waving animation just in seconds. So now let's get back to the leaf composition. And I would like to just offset this layer a little bit so that everything doesn't uh, move together. And after that, I would duplicate this one more time since the rest of the leaves are pretty much the same. So we can again reuse this for the other leaves. By rescaling it and then for the colors, we can use the hue saturation to adjust the color. So once all the adjustments are done, just make sure that the layers are not uh, exactly at the same time. It should have some few frames of offset so that mm, everything is not animating together. So like this, you just uh, offset it randomly by a few frames. And you may see the layers are cropped uh, after this. So don't worry about this one because this animation is uh, going to be max to max 30 seconds, not more than that. So at least for 2 minutes 30 seconds, this will the, all the layers are going to stay on the screen. So like this, this entire plant animation is done. Now we can get back to frame 1 again. So we are just going to offset this plant layer by a few frames. Again, the same, same concept, uh, both the plants should not be uh, animating exactly the same way for that reason only. And now both the plants are animating. And that's the end of this video. In the next lesson, we will learn how to animate this sliding door opening animation. So that is it. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.